Now, after a hard day working on the railway, I like to kick back and watch some telly. My go-to show is obviously Witcher, but there's a problem with this. Mrs Motion doesn't like the violence and won't watch it with me. So in an attempt to rekindle the love, and probably more so that it was between Witcher seasons, we decided to find something we could both watch. And what better show to watch than Hornby, A Model World? But wait, Mr Motion, I hear you say, does Mrs Motion really like this show? Well, apparently so, and for one reason only. Montana! Mastermind behind the whole play trains range, and for Mrs Motion, an obsession with a are they, aren't they guessing game. But what I always liked about Montana was when she started to head into Simon's office with a bonkers idea she had just dreamed up overnight. You just knew something awesome was about to happen. Come on, Montana, what have you got for us today? But let's backtrack a moment and look at that play trains range. So I guess most people would start off with a set like this. It's not bad value, to be fair, coming in at under £25, and that includes delivery. But everyone's talking about Timu at the moment, and on there, you might be tempted by this one for little Timmy's Christmas present. It's just £3.51, and that includes delivery from China too. How is that possible? Don't know. Now you might argue that this is a pile of crap, and it certainly looks that way, but that's not the point. For a cheap entry level set for a kid to play with for 10 minutes before getting bored and going back to Call of Duty, this might be ideal. By the way, I'm not sponsored by Timu. Not yet. And here we have the age old problem with model railways. Add in a few recommended extras and this all starts to get really expensive. But then maybe it's just getting the would be hobbyist used to shelling out for their models because wait till you see what's coming next. Anyway, let's get back to Montana and Simon. So Montana's got an idea, and it normally goes something like this. Tumpty Tumpty Tum. Hi Simon. Montana, here we go. I've got a great idea for a new train. Of course you do. What is it this time? Well, you know how we don't have a train for dog lovers. Dog lovers? Well, I've come up with a great idea that we can make something for the dog-loving model train fan. Okay, let's see it. I did a drawing of it. Ta-da! What's this? It's called the Doggy Poodle Choo Choo. That's fantastic. I love it. Do you really? Yeah, let's make that right away. Simon loves all my ideas. I'm the best. And us back home loved that stuff. But there's a twist in the tale. When Simon retired, it came as a shock to the model railway world. And for a while, it was Lyndon Davies making the decisions. No more dog trains. <laughs> who in turn was replaced by Ollie Rayburn in January last year. Who's this? He was previously CEO of Paper Chase that closed down in April 2023, just three months after he left. Nice one, Ollie. So who knows what's going to happen to Hornby? Often though, true geniuses are not appreciated till they're gone, and this might be true of Montana. Without her on the show, it seemed like it was just a bunch of boring blokes. It's like she brought the sparkle back to Simon's world and gave us something that might turn out to be the only thing that saves Hornby's future. One thing's for sure, without Simon and Montana, there's nothing of interest for Mrs Motion to keep watching the TV show, if they ever do a season three, that is. And I'll have to go back to watching reruns of Witcher on my own. Anyway, good luck to you, Montana. You'll be missed. Oh, and you too, Simon. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. I'd love to hear what your views are. That's it for this video, though. Thanks for watching. See ya.